Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm having a look at, you can see behind me, the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2, um, which was my tent that I used on my last camp when I went to the Shropshire Hills and um, hiked up uh, Kair Caradoc, uh, and it was the first time using it. As you can see already, I've already put the inner part of the tent up, um, but what I'll do is I'll go around the tent um, show you it pitched up and um, we'll put the fly, fly on, show you how that goes on, um, show you a couple of things maybe that I might want to change about the tent. But I thought I'd keep this one quite um, quick and simple today. It's just a general overview. This, there is plenty of other reviews, in-depth reviews of the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2. So one of the good things about the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2 is the tent itself is actually freestanding. So you can pick it up move it around wherever you want to move it so you can get it pitched and pop it down where you want it um, on some level level ground um, I've got the um, fly sheet on well the footprint sorry um, so I've got that clipped in got that already on um, I just thought I'll put it up partly up just so that the video is not too long to be fair so um, what I'll do is I'll go around, um, take you around the tent, show you a few things, a um, few, few things about obviously pitching the tent, maybe a couple of modifications that I might do to the tent myself. Uh, so yeah, so let's go and have a look. So yeah, so pitching the tent's quite easy. Um, you've got um, the aluminium poles, um, which are pre um, pre-bent so that um, makes it easy for pitching. You've got these um, three-way junctions. Obviously the poles itself is as all as one pole. Um, you've got the longer part at the front um, of the pole and then at the rear of the, the tent that I'll bring you around here. You've got the shorter end at the rear. Um, so all that you need to do is, depending on how you want to pitch it, whether you want to pitch it inner first or outer first, um, pop down the uh, footprint. Uh, you can peg that out. Um, I'll show you here. You've got two um, separate anchor points. So you can pitch the footprint down first and then um, pitch the fly sheet after. The only thing is, or one thing you'll see here is, the fly sheet, the um, sorry, the footprint and the inner are two different lengths for the anchor point. So um, once you get it pegged down, make a decision then whether you're going to pitch the peg down the um, fly sheet or whether you're going to pitch down the footprint. Uh, what I might do is make some slight modifications to these. Maybe put a bit of elastic on both of them so that I can peg them both out uh, down at the same time um, but that's probably something I'll look at in a later video you've got two clips here um, so you've got a clip for this is for the outer sheet um, you can pitch the outer first so depending on which one you want to do whether you want to clip on the outside pitch it out first you can then switch the toggles over if you pitch it in a first I tend to use this back one um, as it's closer to um, the fly and well the the inner and it doesn't also then get wrapped up with the other parts um, so yes yeah, so as you can see you've got um, quite a bit of meshing um, on the inner you've got meshing either both sides and um, some meshing at the back and meshing on that side and then you have also got um, meshing on the door as well the door simply is You've got two zips here, um, which just unzip, which is quite tricky to do one-handed, especially around that part. So yeah, so that unzips. Uh, that's the inside of the tent. Um, this then rolls back, and you've got a little toggle here. You've got a little toggle here to fix it back to. Um, Give you some specifications. Um, the pack size is 41 uh, centimeters in width uh, by 13 centimeters wide. Um, 
the tent as well itself and the inner part of the tent i'll just get these specifications so the tent at its highest point uh, which is here is 150 centimeters uh, from top to bottom so that's at its highest point the overall length of the tent so from this point here to this point here is 210 centimeters and then the front width of the tent which is here to this point here is 130 centimeters the tent weight uh, in total is uh, 2.08 kilos um, i've actually got the uh, 210t uh, which is the polyester version not the 20d silicon uh, silicon uh, nylon version um, but yeah so it's 210 centimetres inside. It's enough space uh, for one person and their equipment. Um, so yeah, so I'll pop you back on the stand and then what we'll look at doing is getting the outer part of the tent, um, the fly clipped in and I can show you that. Right, so that's the, um, obviously I put the fly part up already. This is the outer part, uh, the fly sheet. On the fly sheet for clipping it on, you got these straps with these clips and then you've also got an adjustable strap as well to adjust it um, this is the uh, 910t um, uh, version it's just a um, polyester urethane uh, they do do the 20d model which is then your uh, uh, silicon nylon um, pack weight altogether is 2.08 kilos um, so yeah what i'll do is we'll get this clipped on onto the tent and then i'll um i'll show you how it clips in how you adjust the strap so yeah so what i'll probably do is start at the back of the tent figure out where the front is so it's the back get the back thrown over clip it in and then it just make it easier then in the front. So then just throw it over. Throw it over the top. Clip it in. Clip the other side in. So that's it. That's it pretty much clipped in. Uh, one thing I didn't show you was is in the bag, um, I haven't put any pegs on it, you get these pegs, uh, some Nature Hike um, pegs. There's 11 of these, um, but what I'll show you on one thing is, is the sides, the um, guide ropes for the fly, there's two, there's one at the bottom and one at the side. And when you peg it out, you have to peg both of them out um, which can pull the side out and up. Um, I brought an additional set of pegs from um, Go Outdoors, so I can peg the two separate. So what I'll do is I'll show you now how it clipped in and um, how we tighten it up, and then we'll peg the front out. So that's the, it clipped in. And then all you need to do to adjust it is you just pull this. What I tend to do is use two hands, pull one, um, and then tighten up the strap. But yeah, you get the idea. You just go around, tighten up all four corners of the tent. Um, you'll also then need to um, peg the front out, which is what I'll do just to um, give you a view. So yeah, so if you grab a, grab a couple of pegs, and then at the front here, pull this out. You've got two, two toggles, one's for the door, um, so yeah, just get it out nice and tight, peg it out, do the same on the other side. This has only got a single one on this side. Uh, the other one's obviously for the door. So yeah, so peg that out. It's not gonna be very straight because I'm not on very level ground. But yeah, peg that out like that. So then that's the front pegged out. You've got, um, there's a Velcro piece inside here. Oh, let's get you right. Velcro piece inside here. And then you've got your zip here. 
um, for the main tent and you've got the little vestibule area but um, as I said yeah I haven't really pitched it that great I just wanted to show you it really the other thing is is as I said you've got two guide ropes you've got one that fixes up on the side of the tent and then you've also got the one fixes down um, I brought the additional pegs so that you can peg these out separately otherwise you have to peg them out as one um, at the rear of the tent you have your ventilation section so we do is on velcro that there's a pole that sticks out and then all that you do you just velcro it in there like so and then you've also got a guide rope at the back um, obviously you go around and tighten it all up as and when um, so yeah that's a basic pitch and I'll probably well to be fair it looks scruffy as anything doesn't it let's just peg that back out so yeah um, door rolls up toggles back here um, just a single toggle but yeah it's just a basic overview of the um, cloud up too so that's the uh, nature hike cloud up too I'll probably be using this as my one night trip uh, tent. Um, I've got the Nature Hike Cloud P2 um, for when I go on the bigger adventures. Um, but yeah, as always remember, um, if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up and um, hit the subscribe button um, so you can follow me on what adventures I go or what new bits of kit, new tents I purchase. But yeah, if anyone's got any questions, drop them down um, in the comments below or if you want to see a more in-depth de um, in uh, review of the tent, I can come back and do a full in-depth review for you. But I just wanted to do a, a basic brief overview of the tent. Um, hopefully next time you see me, we'll be out on another adventure um, out in the mountains this time, not up some hills. Um, but yeah, look forward to um, seeing you all on the um, next video.